Hey everyone, how was your weekend? Mine was pretty awesome. My husband got me these mums for our six month anniversary. My sister and her husband came and stayed with us for a few days. They left before Memorial Day, but whatever. Uh, it amazes me how socially awkward I'm becoming as the years go by. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I don't even know what to say or how to act around family. I don't even know what my sister was saying. But all of a sudden, I was just like, I have a hippo watering can. Okay. But really, I do have a hippo watering can. I'll show you. There he is. I wish the spout was both of his nostrils, but oh well, he was a dollar. So yeah, at times, I didn't know what to say or how to act. But, but overall, I think we still had a pretty great time. So that went well, I guess. So Mike and Caroline left Sunday afternoon, and Monday morning we had to do some homework, and then we went over to my in-law's house, um, and we celebrated Memorial Day there. And Caleb's brother's family was there, and sister's family was there, and let me tell you, I just have some of the cutest nieces and nephews ever. Like, you should probably be jealous. But anyway, my favorite part other than being with family was probably eating watermelon. I haven't had watermelon in probably like a year. And you're like, what's your problem with watermelon? But like, I love watermelon. <laughs> so as you probably guessed from the last video, this video is about marriage. I think my wedding day was pretty awesome. We got a lot of great pictures. Insert favorite one here. Okay, so the only maybe, well, I'm going to call it bad because there wasn't anything really bad about my wedding day, but our reception was later at night. I think it started at like 6, and that was far too late because I had gotten up early. I was getting ready, just like a stressful day in general. It's good, but stressful and just kind of boggles your mind, and I wouldn't trade the day for anything in the world, but I was so tired, and by the time I got to my reception... I probably looked terrible and just tired and miserable, but I was having a good time. I was ready for it to be over, but, you know, whatever. So I got married at age 19. I feel like that's kind of looked down on society today. Like, you need to wait at least until you're in your 20s because you need to live life. You need to go explore. And I'm asking, why can't I do that with my spouse? Or for anyone with a spouse? I mean, some people need to get to that maturity point or that level where they can get married or they feel comfortable married, getting married, but I feel like I, I've i experienced so many more things now that I'm married and people are like, oh, you gotta get through school first. And you know, being married is like the ultimate motivation when you're going to college because you have something you know you're working for, like you're getting good grades and doing your homework and putting in so many hours so you can get this degree and go out in the world and provide for your family. And another thing, look, I feel like feminists would get mad at me about, but I honestly want to be a stay-at-home mom. But, you know, some, I don't know the future. Maybe something will happen to Caleb where he can't work anymore. He's not able to, or, you know, he dies or something. I need to be able to take care of myself and to take care of my kids, if we're to that point in our lives, if slash when, whatever, anything were to happen. So I think it's important for me to get those skills and being married and having that vision of a family is just so motivating for me. I mean, still I'm grown about school and everything, but I know it's for a purpose. Okay, before I start rambling even more, someone commented that, you know, men want to settle down, but women, they just want their prince charming. Let me tell you, world. Prince Charming's a myth. There are wonderful people out there, but nobody's perfect. Everyone comes with certain flaws or downfalls or whatever. I mean, no matter who you end up with, you're going to have to deal with some things. But So I think if a girl's being realistic, she's not looking for a Prince Charming. I feel really rambly today. Anyway, I don't mean to crush or be harsh on anyone's opinions. I really don't. You are so open to have them. But I was happy to see 
the comments that people were looking forward to getting married or they thought it was a good idea. And some people, either through comments or otherwise, told me that, like, yeah, I don't really, whatever, like, maybe, or I don't like it at all. And that's just kind of sad for me, just because I've always valued marriage. Call me old-fashioned, but I don't care. I really value marriage, and I, it's it can be such a great thing if you really work at it. And yeah, marriage does take work. You can't expect to just not do anything and have it be good. Like, you, you need to work at it. So I'm kind of sad that people... Like, I just want everyone to be able to experience it. And people are like, oh, you've only been married six months. You haven't been through anything yet. We've been through our things. And there are harder things yet to come. But I just know that he's fully committed and I'm fully committed. And marriage is just wonderful. I'm also just kind of sad that people aren't taking marriage as seriously anymore. It's like, oh, well, if I'm starting to get unhappy or times are a little rough, then see ya. I'm going to seek happiness by walking away instead of really sticking to it and walking or working through things. I mean, if you're getting beaten every day and stuff, then yeah, you should probably leave your spouse. But um, other than that, I just think divorce is kind of an easy out. Okay, really ranty today. Um... So, I was going to introduce Caleb to you. He's at work right now, and I don't feel like waiting till he gets home to upload this. But anyway, I'm sure I'll bring him in in another video or two, or lots of them. Okay, what am I looking forward to this upcoming week or weekend or whatever? Um, I'm looking forward to Friday. Is that tomorrow? That's tomorrow! <laughs> okay, um, anyway, Caleb and I are going to have a picnic in the park, and the weather's been really nice, so I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, the question to answer for next time is, have you ever lived in a small town? And if you have, did you like it? I guess more importantly, how would you classify a small town? What are the requirements? Well, that's all I have, so I guess I'll see you next time.